What's up guys, Pixel Sammy here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make the effect which I just showed right now. If you are interested in photography, videography, cinematography and filmmaking then I make regular tutorials, tips and tricks and videos on them. If you are into this kind of stuff you can consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell button so that you guys can get notified every time I make a new video. So let's get started. For this video you guys need two kinds of clips and an overlay i'll give the link of the overlay down below and for the two clips two clips can be anything which are a bit related to each other otherwise this effect will not look good it can be like a beach and a person swimming on the second clip and the blank beach on the first clip or a waterfall in one clip and the person in another clip or the same person in two different dresses or night time or daytime it can be related but it can be anything it is your choice it is your creativity and this is how you do it and for this you guys need the overlay the link is down below so for First what you guys need to do is drag the overlay over the top and then go to the color panel and then change the black part to white and white part to black. To make that just change the curve, just make the opposite curve and then drag it to the first clip. I am using a Paris Eiffel Tower clip and then in the effects panel type in key here and drag the Lima key here onto the overlay and it will automatically make the black portions invisible but you can play with it okay so after you do this go to the panel and change the blend mode to stencil alpha this is the best blending mode change it to stencil alpha and then compound the clip by clicking alt plus g wait for it to render and then drag it on top and bring the eiffel tower daytime one in the lower portion and then you get a sweet in splattered effect on the eiffel tower and as the scaling and the position is not correct i will tell you guys to take your own time and make the scaling properly I'm going to change the opacity so that I can scale them properly. Just for the sake of scaling, I'm just changing the opacity. And then I'm going to scale it with the one which is taken in the daytime because in the nighttime one, the surroundings were not captured. So that portion is not actually there in this video. I have taken this from the internet, so I'm not actually liable to the footage I have taken. But just for the sake of tutorial to make you guys understand, I have taken this footage. So after scaling, so after scaling change the opacity back to 100% and then change the scale or the position as you feel like. If it is already properly scaled then you don't have to do anything else, it is already done. Now you guys can do the color grading and all, it is pretty much done. So after color grading this effect looks like this. Thank you for watching guys, hope you liked the video. So I am saying again if you are into photography, cinematography, filmmaking and all this other stuff I make regular tutorials, cinematic videos, tips and tricks and uh, all those videos. So if you are interested in this kind of stuff consider subscribing to my channel because I make regular content each day or each alternate days. With that being said this is Pixel Sammy signing out. Peace out.